What's going on guys? This is The Centrepreneur here today with a new video. Today I wanted to bring to you my top five favorite Creed fragrances. Uh, Creed used to be my favorite house, favorite brand, whatever you want to call it, uh, until being usurped by uh, Parfums de Marly. Uh, Creed is still very close. I love a lot of Creeds and uh, these are my favorites. Before I jump into this, uh, these are my favorites. I based uh, my ratings on price, smell, versatility, longevity, performance, and uh, yeah, that stuff. <laughs> Once again, this is my list. I haven't smelled every single Creed ever, but I have smelled all of the talked about ones, all of the hyped up and uh, super relevant ones. So anyway guys, I want to hop right into this list with an honorable mention. This one is from the uh, Royal Exclusives collection and it's Jardin Diamalfi. So I've just got a sample of this one. Uh, Jardin Diamalfi is a fantastic scent. It's very citrus, it's very floral. Uh, it's a great scent, it smells fantastic. Based on scent alone, it should be way higher up the list, but the Royal exclusives are really expensive and for that reason I just couldn't justify putting Jardin Diamalfi in this list because I can't see myself ever buying a, uh, a bottle just due to the uh, enormous price tag. So now guys, hopping into the list, the list proper, number five, the classic, a lot of people's favorite, not mine, Green Irish Tweed. This should tell you just how stacked my list is, that Green Irish Tweed is at number five. This scent is fantastic, it's very, very green as the name suggests, it smells natural like a countryside. Fantastic, there's a lot of clones of it, but in my opinion, none of them replicate the scent uh, on the same level as Green Irish Tweed. It's a mass pleaser, women love it, fantastic fragrance guys, but the others on this list, in my opinion, are just better. So, there's that. <laughs> uh, next up, number four. Uh, this one doesn't get a whole lot of talk. A few reviewers give it its, uh, its praise, and uh, it's totally worth it, in my opinion. Number four is Vetiver Geranium. So Vetiver Geranium is a beautiful um, apple and geranium. And I get some citrus from it. Uh, I don't remember if that's listed or not, but I remember that being a little weird. It smells very crisp, very clean, uh, performs, fantastic scent, and it's a little bit cheaper <laughs> than the other creeds on this list. So there's that bonus too. Next up at number three, guys, is a tie. Uh, one of these fragrances I actually forgot to add to the list in the first draft, but then I was going over it and I was like, where's... Where's that one? <laughs> and uh, anyway, this was the spot uh, that I had to put it where I thought it made the most sense. And uh, along with it is probably the most hyped up fragrance from, uh, from Creed. So this is a tie, guys. At number three, we've got Royal Oud and Aventus. Now these, in my opinion, are the two most masculine Creeds, at least that I've smelled. Spice and Wood is also up there, but because it's so expensive, it wasn't included on this list. Royal Oud is a very sophisticated fragrance. Uh, it should have been on my office list, but I honestly forgot to put it on there. Uh, a lot of people say it should be called Royal Sandalwood. I agree. Uh, it's a fantastic, sophisticated, woody scent, though, guys. Only issue is it doesn't really last that long, and it's a bit pricier than a lot of these. Aventus, I don't have to talk about this guy at all, but it's, ooh, ooh. <laughs> it's that birch and that pineapple musk. Mm. Vanilla, black currant, you get so much from this. I call it the quintessential masculine scent, and I stand by that. It's a fantastic fragrance with otherworldly uh, longevity and performance on me. I've had this last over a day, like over 24 hours. And still project pretty well so that's just Creed Aventus for you all right top two you pretty much if you've been following me you pretty much know what these are um, so let me just start by saying for number two this is my favorite scent my favorite smell that Creed does however the versatility 
and the performance on this one are very, very poor. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I struggle to put it at two, but really I just love the scent so much I had to. Guys, this is Virgin Island water. This is my summer daring scent for those of you who have seen um, either my review on this one or um, my rotation video. Oh, <laughs> you get coconut, lime, and rum. It very much smells like what I remember a pina colada does. Um, it's fantastic, but like I said, it's hard to wear. It's hard to find a decent scenario to wear this in. And also, it doesn't really last that long. I get three hours of good performance and then a few hours as a skin scent and it's gone. So that's why it made number two and not number one, because I do like the smell more than number one. Anyway, number one, you know what it is. It's my summer signature scent. It's Millicent Imperial. This is, in my life, the most well-appreciated creed. Everybody I know loves this one, including me, and it's honestly not that far behind Virgin Island water in terms of smell for me. You get a nice salty sea breeze and watermelon and a little bit of musk actually. One of you mentioned that in the comments and uh, I actually wore this last night because <laughs> why not even though it's not summer yet and I got a lot of musk and you know what I like it. <laughs> I like it. I, those are the three big things I get from Millicent Imperial. The performance is not great on this one either. Better than Virgin Island water. Better than VIW but um, Still not great, you know, six, seven hours for me. Doesn't push out that much unless it's in the high summer heat. In the hot, hot days of summer, this is a beast, this is an animal, it'll do you all day, or at least it does me all day. And um, really why this gets the top spot, it is my second favorite um, smell from Creed, and it's so amazingly versatile and well-liked by people in my life and people that I meet. I just had to put it up here. Like, I called this my signature scent for the summer, but really it's going to be my signature and my date, occasionally my casual, occasionally my formal, and probably a few days my work. So that's why it's my number one. It's a real lady killer. It's a different freshie. And um, in my experience, it's, it's the best creed. <laughs> so guys, that was my list of top five Creed fragrances. Let me know down below. Do you agree with some of my orderings? Do you not? What did I miss? Are there some other lesser known Creeds that I need to check out? I did leave a few good ones off this list, but that just shows you the star power of uh, what I had here today. Also, leave me your list of uh, top three, top five, favorite one, doesn't matter, Creeds down in the description. This has been The Centrepreneur, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's new con uh, content coming out all the time. Don't forget to toss me a big thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to have a great day and enjoy your creeds. I'll talk to you in the next one.